Hi there, this is Vivi Cameron here. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing about this beautiful die collection designed by my friend Vicky Papai now for Spellbinders and it's called Beer Houses Through the Seasons. This die collection was sold out only two days after the release in several online stores and I have been waiting patiently for them to come back in stock to be able to share this video with you. So here we have a collection of five die sets and one stamp set. The die sets include four different beer houses designs that can be used for different seasonal projects and also a die set with little beards and a branch that can be used to create decorative elements for projects made using any of these die sets or individually. I found this die collection extremely versatile. It will allow you to create projects for any occasion and you can mix and match elements or dies or components from all these die sets to create endless compositions. I want to keep the things simple for today and I just grab my watercolor paints and I apply them on different cardstock qualities. I apply the paint as unevenly as possible. I spray some mica shimmer sprays on the paper. I also splatter darker colors of watercolor paints or acrylics over the paper. And when the paper was still wet, I apply salt. I allow this to dry and when this is dry, I just remove the salt. You see here the salt. And this creates a really beautiful texture and it really gives an organic look to the die cuts and I really love it. So I applied this on Tonic Studios watercolor paper and on 240 grams cardstock. To do this, you don't need to use expensive watercolor paper because you are not doing any detail painting or anything like that. I'm going to use this die set here in this gorgeous new place by Spellbinders and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create with these die sets. So I'm going to use the little birds first and I'm going to die cut this paper. What I want to do here is to easy the color application but if you also enjoy applying colors to die cuts using alcohol markers or other medium I'm also going to show you how to do that just in one minute. I just want to show you how cute is this. I was die cutting this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So anyways, I die cut also pieces of white cardstock so that I can get die cut elements from that white cardstock and also from watercolor paper. And all I have to do then is to mix them together. And as simple as that, I can make a bunch of little birds for many different projects. I also added a little piece of black cardstock behind the die cuts so that you can see that black spot on the eyes of the birds but it's actually a piece of black cardstock behind them. To add color to these die cuts using alcohol markers, I prefer to add the pieces together first and then I apply color. But of course you can apply colors to individual pieces and then glue them together. If you are going to be gluing the pieces first or before coloring with alcohol markers, I will advise to be careful with the glue application because the marker is not going to perform nicely on those areas covered by glue. So you have to use tiny, tiny little amounts of glue. And I'm also going to use a plastic bag to protect my work surface. And I'm going to be using red, browns, pink and orange colors. I'm going to start by applying this dark red color at the edges of the image in the head, the belly and the wings just to make sure that in those areas I'm going to get a darker shade. Then I'm going to use this light brown color and I'm going to go over that just trying to blend that color and also covering a little bit more of the white areas of the die cut. Now I'm going to use this orange marker and I'm going to apply it here in this area of the face of the little bear, the belly and again over all these and extending the color towards those white areas. And you see it looks like a hot mess but don't worry you are going to see how little by little by overlapping all these colors you will get a more even color. 
So I'm applying here a pink color and I'm covering almost all the areas that are white on this little die cut. Next, I'm going to apply a darker pink color and it's this one here. You can see the number of this marker on the screen and I like the way this kind of mute all those bright colors without completely covering them. So you can still see those pink and orange shades popping through this color. So once I layer all these colors, I then can add the real color of this image that is red. This is a red cardinal, but I didn't want the image to be solid red. I want all this interest and all this contrast of color. And I'm just applying a little bit of this color here and there. I'm going to do pretty much the same here. You can see me adding pink. Then I'm going to mute this color with this darker pink. And I'm going to use orange to light this color up. Just a hint of orange here and there. And you can just fix the color and change the color over and over until you are happy. To finish, I'm going to add shadows and I'm going to apply the marker in this area here. This is so small that it's just very little color that you need. And if you feel that the face area of the little bird or the wings or any other area is too yellow or too orangey or too pinky, you can also use a skin tone marker like this one here to lift the color up and that will light up that area. It only takes one minute to add color to this. I don't like to think too much when I'm coloring and you can see that I got some glue on some areas of this little die cut. So that looks a little bit glossy in that area, which is not ideal, but it's okay. So if it happens, don't worry about it. This is paper craft. It's not something that have to be perfect. As I was experimenting with colors at this stage, I just was testing the waters. I was saying, okay, let's try this color combination. Let's try this other. I never write down the colors I'm using. I just, as you see there, I just throw on the desk some colors that I can blend and I start blending everything like crazy. Please don't think that if you don't have the three consecutive colors to do the perfect blending, <laughs> you won't be able to do it. You can blend an orange into a brown and a skin tone into an orange. Don't think too hard when you are blending. Now, for this little bird that I'm coloring here, I'm using exactly the same colors I just used for the other, but I'm not using red. If you see, I just add some darker areas of color and then some lighter. You need to guarantee that you have in your images that contrast between light and dark areas. It doesn't really matter where you lay down the dark areas as long as you have them. <laughs> so don't think too much. Just give it a try, experiment, and you will find that Maybe at the first time that you add colors, you don't like the results, but I'm sure you will find that color combination that you are going to love. So I made several different little birds and I just filmed these ones that were the first. And I thought I should share the way I add colors to these little pieces because after this, you can also add shimmer paint or other things to transform those die cuts even more. Using the dies in this collection, I also die cut the paper I showed you at the beginning of the video. And after I have all those die cuts, I start putting the little bird houses together. I'm going to start with this one here that is the winter bird house. I'm going to play some music and I'm going to show you super quick how easy it is to do this. One of the challenges I have to work with this collection was making my mind about the background colors. <laughs> I spent some time thinking which background color I should use. And as you can see here, at the end of the day, you can use this on different cards of colors 
and they look fantastic on anything. I was making four cards for you today. I really like to make a set of cards that looks alike, so all my cards have the same design, and I wanted to do something arty, but at the same time delicate, clean, and simple. Because the die cuts has a lot of colors and some texture, I decided to use hammered cardstock for the background panels, and this cardstock is ivory, and I also decided to use hot foil sentiments. You can also add stamped sentiments, but I just thought that the ideal component for these simple mini slim line cards was a hot foiled banner. You can find complete supply list in the video description or in my blog post. The link is also in the video description and in the first comment below. For the card I made using this Build a Summer Bird House die set, I decided to use all the little dies to make little die cuts. And I just decorate that die cut with all of those elements. And I think this is my favorite. I really love it. Like a beer house made me think in a couple, in those who are building their nest. <laughs> I have some ideas that I don't know. It just inspired me to do a happy anniversary card. It could be great for a baby or something like that. It doesn't have to be only a spring, but you can use it for a wide variety of things. I really like this little super cute house and you can also stamp a sentiment if you want to. And with this die cut beard house, I was thinking to make something for Halloween. <laughs> but honestly, I say, okay, no, no, I cannot go that crazy. But why not? You can use just the house and the pumpkins or any other element in this die set to do a wide variety of things as well. I really love the versatility of this die collection, but has I wanted to keep in one theme and one design style for my cards today, I just keep this super simple and I made a very generic card. The sentiment says you are loved and you can send this to anyone. You can also make a grid using the flowers, the leaves and also the pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I have so many ideas, but I have to keep it simple to keep crafting with so many supplies that I get every day. And those are my four cards for today. I'm loving this collection. I hope you are loving it too. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.